In this video, you will create the main assembly of the robot. We will start by adding a motor to the chassis. Then, we'll insert the kicker and fix it with hardware. To create the kicker actuator, we'll insert a mounting plate, a sim motor, a key, a bush, and a little gear. And finally, we'll add the bumpers. Start with the chassis base and insert the first motor. Place a coincident relation between the top surface in the cut of the inner C-frame and the bottom surface of the motor's angle bracket. In order to align it midway between the wheels, place a coincident relation between the right plane of the chassis and the front plane of the motor. Next, go to Top View, zoom in on the end of the angle bracket, and press the up arrow once in order to view the inner surface of the slot. Add a tangent made between the hole in the inner C-frame and the flat part of the slot. Add two bolts and nuts between the angle bracket and the inner C-frame, and two more between the T-brace and the outer C-frame as shown. Next, switch to isometric view and insert the kicker assembly. Add a coincident mate to place it next to the inner C-frame. Instead of rotating the model, right-click and select Other in order to choose the appropriate face of the bearing mount. Add a concentric relation between the first hole on the frame and the bearing mount, and the parallel mate to fix the mounts vertically. If you were to try and rotate the gear, you would see that the assembly is not moving as it's supposed to. This is because subassemblies come in as rigid by default. To make it move, right-click on it in the Feature Manager and select the last icon. Make subassembly flexible. Now it is moving properly. Insert the mounting plate and add a concentric, a coincident, and a parallel mate to fix it to the inner C-frame as follows. Use right-click, select other to choose the proper faces without turning the model. Insert the SIM motor and attach it to the mount plate using a concentric and a coincident mate. Add the 2x2x10mm block to the shaft of the motor using three coincident mates. Add the bush and make it concentric to the shaft. Add a coincident mate between the end of the shaft and the inside flat face of the bush. Right-click on the bush and make it transparent. Then add a parallel mate between an inner face of the tab and a side face of the small block. Change back the transparency of the bush from the feature manager. Insert the gear and made it concentric to the bush. Also, add a coincident mate between a gear's side face and the flat face of the bush's narrow part. Add two bolts and nuts to the kicker bearing plate. Now, insert the mounting base plate and made it between the two inner C channels. Place two concentric mates between the holes of the plate and the holes of the C-frame. Add a coincident mate between the side of the plate and the outside face of the C-frame. Add bolts and nuts to fix the plate to the chassis. To better organize your components, you can select them and right-click Add to New Folder. Next, insert the green bumper and add a coincident mate between its flat face and the outer face of the frame in the back. Then, add a concentric mate between its circular face and the corresponding hole on the outer C-frame, and the parallel mate to fix its position. 
You can now place the side bumper and mate it with three coincident mates to the side of the C channel and the end of the green bumper. Lastly, use the mirror components feature to add a second motor on the other side. Use the plane we created in the chassis for the mirror plane and select the motor and the four pairs of bolts and nuts that are used to attach it. In the next video, we will create belts and add the remaining components.